Hey, yesterday Elemental released a beta version 3.22 and we covered off the off canvas widget, a new one. It's in the beta version and it should be coming out to production live for everyone to use in early June. And I went through how to use it. The video link is in the video description. Go and look at that because we're not going to cover that in depth. But the common question was, well, why would I use the off canvas widget when we already have the pop up templates? So let me clarify the differences and why there are pros and cons to using either one. Now the pop-up template that you would usually access from your templates and then go and click on pop-up and this is where you would go and create them. You would use these when you want to have a pop-up. Maybe it's on your home page, your shop page, product page, post page, could be anywhere. And it might be a special coupon or download this or subscribe now or just some messaging. But it could also be that you have a separate header template and you may have a WordPress menu and all of that, maybe a mega menu, but when you get to the mobile, it doesn't look right. And you wanna have like an off canvas mobile menu. So when you get to the mobile, the menu slides in. And what you would do is you would go and add in an icon, go and add in a dynamic tag, go to the pop-up, and then you would summon your particular pop-up. So the idea with that is that when you click the link, that pop-up would now appear. And that's just textbook pop-up templates, really. We've covered that in many videos, as have other people too. So just to clarify, okay, your pop-up templates, where you would go and create your pop-ups, but you would then have to create a separate pop-up template if you were gonna have a mobile menu. Now, the other thing that the pop-up templates come with, and obviously when you go to edit it, you have options, obviously in terms of placement, are you gonna have the overlay show or not? Are you gonna have a close button? This one's quite important, okay? Slide in, slide out, and then you had other settings as well. But the key bit was when you came to do the display conditions, obviously you could set it on the entire site or just a particular page, but you also had triggers. So how was it going to open? Was it instantly when the page loads or maybe after a certain time or when you scroll to a certain element? But also how many times did it appear as well? And look, there's loads of settings. You could even hide it for certain people as well. So in terms of pop-up templates, it was quite versatile. Like I said, you could use it to appear on any page or you could have it inside of your header template or your footer template. You know, you could have a button, you could have text, you could have a heading, you could have an icon, anything like that. And with a dynamic link, when you click it, it would open a particular pop-up. But there were some negatives to using the pop-up template. Let's just go back to this example. Let's say I'm building a header template. So there you go. I've got a template for my header. Now I want to do a mobile menu. I now have to create a separate pop-up template. And then I'm going to summon it within uh, this icon or you could use a button as well. So when you're building it, you're having to summon something that's built elsewhere. And if you're OK with having multiple tabs open or you understand this, you're totally OK. I'm OK with it. But for some people, it's a little bit confusing. They go, I'm in my header template. Why do I need to build a mobile menu in a separate pop up template? It can get confusing with them because they feel disassociated from the page. And the same goes with maybe you've got a shop page or a home page and you're going to make a pop up appear. Again, you're creating the pop up somewhere else. Now, I don't have a major issue with that. You know, I'm used to it. But if you're brand new to working with templates or Elementor or WordPress or anything like that, I kind of get the idea why it can be confusing. The other thing that can be a problem with your pop-up templates when you're using it as a mobile menu or an off canvas pop-up template is that when you drop your WordPress menu into there, you might think, well, I'm ticking all the SEO boxes because I've got my uh, menu in there. So that should be okay for SEO. The trouble is, is that the pop-up does not, it's not being registered or rendered until you summon it. So when you go to a home page, OK, and you're now looking at your header, right? Sorry, you're looking at your website and you're on the mobile page like that. I mean, that's a rubbish, massive icon, right? But you're on your mobile, OK? There is no SEO for your menu, OK? Because it's not until you click that and it comes into view, slides in or appears or fades in or whatever, that now you're going to get the markup for your SEO. But technically, from the get go, you're not hitting that standard for SEO. And that can be a big problem for people, especially if they want to tick all the boxes. So the way to get around it is inside of your header, you'd go and add in your menu again. So it is now there. And then you'd go to your advanced tab and you would say, don't show it. You you'd do all of this stuff. But a lot of people actually forget to do that. And that can, again, be a bit of a problem. So pop-up templates, really, really good. 
loads of triggers, you know, effects and stuff like that. But you then got to make sure that you're going to put in a separate menu. And like I said, you can feel disassociated because you're building the template somewhere else. Now, this is where the off canvas widget, the new one in the Elemental Beta 3.22 could be your big friend. So here's the new widget and it's only in the beta version. I'm just going to drop this in. I can now build my pop up template for my off canvas menu or any other pop up. I want to stress that, right? This isn't just for off canvas technically, right? Even though it's an off canvas widget. You could use it for your pop up for your subscribe or your coupons or, you know, hey, did you know about X, Y, Z? I'm building it now on my header template page, OK, so I'm no longer disassociated. So if I wanted this to appear on my home page, I could do that. Now, here's the downside, though, to doing this. If I was to build a pop up that said, hey, we got a special offer, I could build up my pop up template and then I could have it activate on certain pages or every page or whatever. Here, if I build it on the home page, it's only for the home page. Do you understand that? So if I want that to appear on, say, the services page, I'll have to add it in again. I mean, you could argue, well, in that case, why don't you just build a template? But this is what you have to play around with. If the pop up template is only going to appear on, say, a singular page or certain pages, then go and use the off canvas widget. If you want it to appear on loads of pages, then do a pop up template. But that being said, if you're building a header template, which will be visible on loads of pages, then build the off canvas widget like I am showing you here on the header template. Again, you're no longer disassociated. Now you are going to be missing out on loads of settings. This is all you get at the moment. There's your layout one. So you can decide on left, right, up and down and all of that. You can also decide on what kind of animations you have. Are you going to have an overlay and prevent closing? Now, one key thing you do miss, though, is that on the pop up templates, when you are building here, you will have the facility to have a close button. But here you don't go and watch the video where I show you how to get around that. Basically, it's sticking an icon and then you would just say, make sure this closes this particular off canvas widget. It's dead easy, simple to do. But again, some people might fall over that. So let me just recap. OK, the pop up template, you can feel disassociated but you do get more triggers and conditions and you can get it to repeat on many, many pages. The off canvas widget, you have less of those effects and triggers, but you're no longer disassociated because you're now building it on the page it needs to appear. And the big, big benefit, and I've saved this right to the end. Do you remember I said that if you were building like an off canvas mobile menu pop up template, your SEO is not hitting the standard because it's not rendered. Well, now, because you're building this on the page, and I'm pretty sure I am right on this, okay? So if I'm wrong, someone please tell me and let the whole world know. But because you're building it inside of the template, now the header template or the home page or whatever, that menu is being rendered when the page loads. So whereas with the pop up template, you had to go and add in another menu and hide it, you won't have to do that here because now. It's already there, even though it doesn't appear until you click the icon or whatever. It is now being rendered in the back end because it's part of that page or that te header template or however you want to talk about it. Look, I hope this clarifies things a little bit more about the off canvas widget versus the pop up template. Personally, I'm probably going to be using the off canvas widget a whole lot more because it means that when I'm doing the header template, I'm not having to go and create a separate pop up, separate, separate, a separate pop up template for the mobile menu. And it keeps everything in one place. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon.